It's the coveted, limited run package. It's time to open up and see what we got, folks. I really don't check my emails. I know people are like, how do you not know what you got in your mail? They email you the game. I, I like to just make it like Christmas. Like it's a, it's a Christmas morning. I don't know what I'm getting when Limited Run sends them directly to me. So exciting. You guys have seemed to have been liking the content when I get a Limited Run game. So let's see what we got. It says, thank you for choosing Limited Run games. If you need help, contact support. I see a PS5 game. I did not know I got this game. What the hell? I did not know I got this. Inflection extended cut. Did I buy this? I guess I did. It's number nine for the PS5. I don't remember getting it. Look at that cover. <laughs> you know, these things take so long. I don't even remember ordering it or, or hearing about it, but... This says it's a interactive nightmare set within the confines of a once happy household. Piece together the mystery behind a harrowing series of events while struggling to survive encounters with an entity that relentlessly stands in the way of finding absolution. So I guess it's like a, a scary horror game with like, I don't know, like, you know how all those other games are where you're like in a house and some kind of family tragedy and stuff like that. So if I'm not mistaken... The Switch games for a limited run have the number right here on the side, if I'm not mistaken. But you see right here, limited run number nine. So I've been collecting the PS5 games since they've started doing them. And uh, it's a little dusty. But uh, yeah, I'm addicted to it. I'm not doing the Switch stuff unless it's like a Switch only. Um, here we go. We got a Shantae card. People told me that people actually do collect these and put them in binders and stuff. So I'm going to try to find all my cards that I have because through the years I've actually been just throwing these like in the drawer, like my junk drawer and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Now, uh, oh, shit, I dropped it. Apparently there's a market for the limited run cards. I, I don't know. Oh, we got a lot of games. Okay, so we got Alf Alphadia Alphadia Genesis looks like a uh, weeaboo JRPG and um, yeah <laughs> again I picked it up because oh shit I am picking it up because I'm collecting the limited run games or at least trying to for the PlayStation 5 so this is eight number eight and um, yeah it says full-fledged fantasy RPG experience with stunning 3d battles all right from Chemco so Kimco, I've played a few of those actually from the Nintendo Switch in the past on the channel. The cover art looks beautiful. Not going to argue that. So number eight and nine, it looks like we got an Alphadia Genesis card as well. Don't know the name of this character. I don't watch much anime or Japanese JRPG stuff, so I usually get a little turn around oh and look underneath we have our third card for the first game it was kind of out of you know i don't like that they just kind of throw the uh the cards loose in the box they should just leave them at the very least you know they're making a lot of fucking money just a suggestion limited run just a suggestion now if i'm not mistaken whenever i see the invoice it always says there's a newsletter for limited run games that they're supposed to send with you but i never get them Right? When you order, it says, like, LRG newsletter. So we got Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I picked up the Shantae games because these always go up in price. <laughs> like, they always do. So, yeah, the collector in me is like, I'm going to pick it up and just hold it. So this is number six. I don't know if I got number seven from the PlayStation 5 collection yet. But I have, I have this digitally on the Switch, I want to say. So Shantae games always... Always a blast to play. It's a platformer, old school. Beautiful graphics. Great, quirky little gameplay. So we knocked out three of the PS5 PS5 games right here. So definitely exciting times. Exciting times with the limited run. I'm, I'm absolutely addicted to these guys. 
um, I have to fight the urge. Like there's the other websites like Play Asia and Special Reserve and Strictly Limited and you know stuff like that. And I've gotten stuff from them in the past, um, but more more often than not, I usually stick to like one or two of them. Um, definitely limited run games, especially they got some cool stuff. They just announced like Bill and Ted Retro Collection not too long ago. You know, they had the AVGN uh, game. They're doing a special edition of Shredder's Revenge for the Turtles. Like, they have, like, a huge limited edition with a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to throw the money over for that one. But they, they, for the most part, have really cool stuff. And they just made, like, a whole bunch of announcements the other day. I think they, like, announced, like, 20 different things, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's been a, a couple weeks since I went to their website and saw what was able for pre-order or distribution um i have to behave a lot of times sometimes what i do is i won't get the games when they're pre-orders i'll just wait until i go to like a convention that limited run games has a table or a booth at and i'll just buy everything that i don't have on it like i remember a couple times at pack south and at game on expo they had a booth and i spent like 200 bucks on a whole bunch of Switch limited <laughs> run games I didn't have. I, I only have like a handful of the PS4 games. I think I have like Night Trap um, and uh, a couple here or there. I can't even think like River City. Uh, wasn't there like a River City Ransom or River City something that came out on PS4? Uh, I got that. River City Underground. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Or I don't even know. It's over there somewhere. But um Definitely got a huge chunk of like the first year limited run Switch games, and then I kind of fell off with that because man, they've they've made so many. But since they started the PS5 collection and we're still early into it, I'm somewhat on it. I think the the only one I'm missing is the first one, which I believe was Terminator, Terminator Resistance. But I ended up getting it from a um, a UK like a PAL version. It's not a limited run version, but um, I've definitely been trying to keep up with that, you know, building up the physical collection, especially because, you know, people say there's not that many physical PS5 games. Limited runs doing them. They technically count. So I've been uh, buying them and they're not too bad in price. Usually they're like thirty nine ninety nine, So you can't beat that. And yeah, sure. They're like indie games and stuff like that, but they're, they're cool. So what do you guys think is the real winner? I think, uh, I think the real winner of the days Shantae. So let me know your thoughts down below guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.